Hi guys, today I thought I'd just give you a little bit of free training on how to find an off-market property deal. Okay, so uh, I'm showing off my stuff. I'm heading for property success with Property Smiles. You probably already knew that, but I thought I would just say it anyway. Okay, so what is an off-market property lead? Um, well, a property that someone wants to sell and is not currently on the market. But what does it mean to not be on the market? Well, it means that it's not a zoo plan, it's not a right move, and it's not listed with an agent. Because once you're listed with an agent, well, that means there's a lot of Chinese whispers going on. Every time you want to speak to the seller, you have to contact the agent, who then tells something to the seller. But you have no idea how well they uh, put together that message. So, for example, I know somebody that was trying to purchase a post office that he was going to convert. Um, and the agent even told him about this deal. But when he spoke to the agent, the agent said, oh, um, the seller didn't go for the purchase lease option that you've pitched. He thought, oh, OK, but he then put a letter through the door and eventually the seller called him back and said, oh, I'm very interested in your offer. And he said, oh, the agent said you weren't interested. Turns out the agent had never spoken to the seller at all. OK, so that's why really you don't want to work with agents if you can help it, because I mean, not even necessarily on purpose, but you must have played Chinese whispers when you're a kid, right? The more people that you have in the chain, as you pass on the message, you can't be sure exactly how the message was portrayed to the person at the end of the line, okay? Um, so how do you find these leads? Well, the truth is, you just need to talk to people, talk to everybody, okay? Um, so let's think about it. Why might someone want to sell their house? Where would they hang out and how can you get in contact with them? Well, just think of a scenario. So say there's a family that wants to upsize because their family is growing. They've got more kids. They need more bedrooms. So where might you find these people that you could talk to? Well, their parents. So you might find them at a school. <laughs> that sounds really creepy. You might um, see them at like parents' evenings. Uh, you might to see them at a nursery, maybe you've got kids as well, or maybe at toy shops while you're waiting in the queue at the toy shop to buy your grandson a present, you might see some parents in the queue and you just start a conversation with people and then you let them know what it is that you do. You never know who's going to turn around and say, oh, I'm looking at selling zoo. Um, so say you want to look for somebody that wants to downsize because their kids have actually grown up and moved out. Well, where do they hang out? Uh, don't want to be stereotyping too much, but this is what we have to do when it's part of media studies. I used to teach media studies, GCSE. So uh, where do these people hang out? So oh, the people that I know that their kids are older and moved out, they all have caravans or they have lodges so that they can go away on weekends when they're not at work. Um, you might see them in bars or spas even. So places where kids are not, <laughs> those are the places uh, where you're going to find people with the kids that have grown up probably. Um, so what if you were selling your property? What shops might people go to if they were looking to sell a property? Well, think about it. If they're going to be doing up a property to sell, um, they want to make it look nice before they sell it. So you might see people in the queue at B&Q. You might see people at Screwfix. Uh, I wrote Wix. That means Wix, the website. That should be Wix, the DIY store. I spelled it wrong. Um, carpet shops even. So just like any kind of DIY place where somebody might go to buy things to do up their property. OK, so we call these types of deals direct to vendor. These methods are great for people that love to chat. People like me. <laughs> but other methods you may have heard of are direct to vendor letters, HMO register letters, Facebook marketing, digital door knocking, flyers, newspaper adverts and so on. Uh, I can teach you about some of these things. Um, however, word of mouth really is the best way to find off market deals because it doesn't feel salesy. You're just chatting to people. Um, so the big message for today is tell everyone what you're looking to buy, tell everybody what you're looking to do because you never know who you're talking to who might be the next person you can work with.
All right, guys, hope you've enjoyed this little five-minute training I offered you today. Uh, speak to you soon. Bye.